Hello, friends of Komodo. It is me, Giuliano, and it's the 17th of May. Oh, wow, fifth month, 17th day in our way of counting this calendar time. Yeah, 2021. Can you believe it? Things are looking good, even though we are in a bit of a crunch. If you're talking price wise, because yes, friends of Komodo. Friends of Price Charts, welcome. This video is for Komodo community, interested in Komodo platform and all related ideas, but more narrowly related to the KMD and KMD price in USD, BTC, you know, like mainly in the BTC price. So KMD, BTC, price charts, also for friends of price charts. Friends of price charts, you know, and any even enemies watching, whatever. You know what? Welcome, one and all. Thanks for watching. Press the like button. I am so on about that like button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. We're just going to try and do a quickie here. Like, it's just a little quickie. But before we jump into price charts, for all those friends of price charts, I do want to say, you know what? There is a lot of saturation in the price chart content market you know what i'm saying a lot of great great uh, price chart videos to watch from different um ob observers analysts content creators whatever and so <clears throat> you know what there isn't a big saturation of though is is komodo clothing being worn on you know on the street level let's say so here we have some komodo t-shirts and a komodo hoodie if you're interested I'm gonna put down a code, a coupon code. I don't, um, I don't know. I haven't tried these shirts yet, so I have ordered a couple of the pirate ones. These are dual sided, but uh, yeah, for all you friends of Komodo here, let's represent, represent, and that's. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I tried to make them cheap, and other than that, um, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, if you've used Teespring before, then definitely hit that up. If not, well, whatever. You know what. It's all good. Just uh, represent Komodo one way or the other, isn't it? Here we go. And now we're going to represent Komodo in the price charts. Yes. So what's going to happen with the with the price charts today is we're going to just talk about levels. We're going to say, OK, imagine in BTC terms and then in USD terms, it's like, OK, things are consolidating. They're crunching. Are we in the bear market of bear markets where we're here for a year uh, crying and you know, and the, there's all the pain and the blood and the tears. No, I don't think so. We are in though a, whoops, we are in a consolidation kind of mode for sure. And we have been, well, this is a 10 day chart. Is that right? Interesting. I can't remember going there, but yeah, we're in a consolidation. This looks actually interestingly a nice impulse and then consolidation. So here we are. Reminds me a bit of a, a little pirate move right there. So a zigzagging down. I mean, we definitely could be coming down further. So here's the thoughts. Here's the thoughts. Okay. You want to set some lures. You want to catch some KMD fish. Okay. Little lizard fish you're looking for. So here's the deal. You could start right away and say, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take 100%. There are different strategies. You can you can evenly break it up if you take 100% and let's say make five different levels of 20% each, or you could do the dynamic version where you take 100% and you uh, have a, a maybe 10% at the high level and then 20% at the lower level and then 30% at the even lower level and then 40% at the lowest level, if, or you can reverse that as well. It depends how conservative, how risky, how confident, where you think things are going, and also how patient you are, okay? So, I mean, because in, let's say we are here at the same price we were back in 22 of March. So in 22 of March, um, would you, I mean, the thing is, anyway, it doesn't matter. Time is time, and what you do between 22 March and 1st of April makes a difference as well compared to now 1st of April to 11th of May, where we are in terms of price, where they were equal in these two dates, but in between you could do things if you want. But if you're just buying and holding, then you're thinking, okay, well, what kind of patience works for you? Let's set up some lines here. We're gonna set up some 
mm, what kind of color is grabbing us, not the pink, we are setting these traps. So we could go right away at this 4,600 Satoshi level and grab some up. Okay, we're gonna use the lower time frame charts for this. We're gonna look at a, let's say a one day chart first to see where are some reasonable levels. So we are definitely at a reasonable level because we see that previously at this level of 30th March here, we are supporting that. So you could definitely think about grabbing some there. And then we see another level just below that here where we had a previous support. Do you see that? Do you see that? Friends of price charts? Yes, right here. There you go. Do we have any friends of line charts here? Yeah. Any friends of line charts? Yeah. Okay. Um, we did say previously that we could go up or we could go down. Looks like we're hitting the bottom of this cloud. I'm going to remove everything but the uh, cloud there. And, and yeah, so yeah, likely to go down. So if, if you wanna be patient and maybe grab it at this next level where you see this support here, which is the 24th April support of about 4,000 stats. So let's hit, us, hit ourselves up there. Okay, using get over rocks to do this, that's fun, whoops. Um, okay, what do we not want anymore? I mean, <clears throat> I think I just get rid of this. Just keep that in your mind if you want. Up and down, yeah, yeah, we all know that. Anything can go up, anything can go down at any time, random. All right, now we'll bring back the Bollinger Bands just to get that in there for all you friends of Bollinger and Bollinger Bands. Now we're going to see that we already have this level carved out here, which is about the 3,000 200 level of Satoshis. And I guess we could put an intermediate level here if you want to play that line too, because look, we're setting traps, we're setting lures, and we don't know where the fish are swimming, what they're avoiding, where they will actually be, what kind of depths we can work with. Uh, yeah, that's again, what, 4,044, 4,021. I guess this is a logarithmic chart, so it's not really, you know, you could set your, your, your plays anywhere. Um, but if we use the, like, for example, if we use the candles just to check and that plays out, that, that seems to play out. And this is a four hour chart, or sorry, a da daily chart. So that, that gives quite enough data and information for where to set the lures. And then if we're really like in a strong uh, KMD BTC chart, whoops, down move, we can see that down here at this level here, about 2,500 Satoshis, is the raw deal. I mean, if you can get one of these whippersnappers down here, what? oh yeah, let us go for that. Let's change that line to like some sort of green for go. All right, let go. All right, friends of Komodo, I think that if you are thinking along those lines, pun intended, then things will be good. Let's just quickly look at some lagging indicators for friends of lagging indicators and yeah let's make some sort of divergence can we um maybe it depends where this line goes if it goes lower than this line and uh, we could potentially be making divergence but that'll have to play out you'll have to wait patience is the name of the game all right that's the daily chart of kmd btc not much more really to say those are our levels and if we're looking at levels here i think you're just going to correspond them to the dollars but let's imagine we do one of these. So we definitely didn't do the up move. Okay, remember that up move potential that we had talked about? Definitely not doing that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what is this gonna be like a flat correction and we're done here and we go up? That is possible, right? It depends what BTC is gonna do. We have them in green now. We're gonna change them to orange because this is what is BTC gonna do? So let's set up a, a, an order right here already at $2 level if you haven't already. I mean, you already are paying attention to your game, then you've probably done so. Then we'll set an order here at $1.67. Okay, yeah, roughly, okay. You mean you choose your numbers if you want. You can be a bit more specific with how you choose. Okay, if you really wanna like double and triple up, you can throw one here at like $1.39, $1.40, and you can throw one here at like $1.17, $1.20. And then I guess for the fifth and final, if we're really going, again, this is a daily chart. If we're really going to like a support level that you wanna, yeah, 88 cents, I don't know here, let's like say a dollar, okay. Yeah, there are the zones, which 
are the most likely, well, definitely where we are now. And if we start going back down to the dollar 70, whew, I wonder what's happening with BTC at that point. Um, because the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the altcoin BTC charts are holding up decently. I mean, things are definitely more on the upward trend with, in current consolidation, but upward overall, rather than turning into an overall downward trend. But uh, none of this is advice in any way. And I'm not uh, definitely, I'm not a, an expert, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you see those levels and you, you get an idea of what is possible. Uh, yeah, increase your, your wealth. You know what, you know, maintain that health and those good healthy, those relationships, you know, yeah, just keep it going. Keep enjoying the community, keep working, being productive. And what else? Get that rest, get that rest and that movement and that hydration. Yeah. And get those shirts and that sweater and, uh, you know, give them to people if you want, or, Oh, I, did I say I was going to put a promo code? I will put a promo code so you can get the five euro or five USD. I think you can even set other, um, fulfillment zones and other currencies. All right. From wherever you are locally, possibly. All right. Take care everyone. Let me know how it goes. Signing out. Love, peace, and happiness to all of you. Until next time. KMD.